Hey guys, welcome back to an all new episode of Conflicts. In this head to head comparison between two robotic vacuums, we have ourselves the very first time reviewing a Roomba. This here is the J7 Plus. And then, of course, we have ourselves one of my personal favorites, an Ecovax N30 Omni. Now, this particular robot vacuum is a lot cheaper off the bat compared to the Roomba, but again, this here is more or less a popular brand from what I've seen. And then this one here is definitely something that's growing more on me. Now, both actually compare to each other quite well in the fact that they both do similar things, but clearly one might be just better than the other, in which today we'll be taking a quick look into exactly how how do they compare and which is a better buy for you. Now, if you guys want to learn more about each of these products, feel free to check out their links down below in the description. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Now, looking at the packaging, you can tell right off the back, the J7 Plus does look a lot smaller. And the N30 is actually an all-in-one station, so it does come with its own built-in station. Uh, so does the uh, particular Roomba. However, they do differ in the comparison of one has the capability to clean the mop pads versus the other doesn't, but they do both collect the dust as needed. So in terms of our particular base station, so as we open it up here, you'll see there's a little pouch in here that will house our collection of dust. And then it does come with an extra one here that just kind of sits over here and doesn't have any kind of water station. You would actually have to manually fill it with this particular mop pad. So it's actually not on the bottom side, it's on the top. Only issue is that it's such a small mop pad. Uh, I can only imagine it kind of like not be able to work efficiently because it's essentially dragging the same cloth everywhere it's going. Something to note is it does have the water container, uh, which is this guy right over here. So let's see if you push that button, it'll release it. And then you actually manually have to fill this. Uh, it does have a filter here on the side, it does come with a spare filter. Um, and then you just have to go ahead and kind of rinse that out once it's done, uh, just like that. Okay, we'll clip in. Uh, another thing that's interesting to note is that it has a double like uh, spindle here to collect any kind of dirt. So it does have a dual suspension. Uh, it does have a little brush here that rotates and it does come with a spare brush. Uh, looks like it has a sensor here as well as a push sensor too. It has a really nice looking metallic finish over here and a power button as well. And that is about it in terms of how it works. Man, this thing's actually pretty cool. So one thing to note is that the base station on this is obviously a lot bigger. Uh, and something I haven't seen before is that it actually has the water tanks on the top here that actually come out rather than having opening a lid kind of deal like that. And this is actually a pretty good big container for water housing. The nice thing is it does have a translucent display so you can technically see it as the water is kind of going up or down. In here, this will house our dust collection bin. So again, also has the same capability, similar to the Roomba where it collects the dust. Um, and then you just go ahead and swap that out when the time comes. Um, the nice thing about this, it does have its own one base station where it'll clean the mop pads. A nice matte black finish to it. Uh, on the top here says D-Bot, you can remove that. Over here you have your manual removal dustbin so you can technically collect dust in here. Uh, you have your LiDAR, your home button, your power button, and then of course your uh, clean location button. Uh, you have a push sensor here as well. Uh, then on the bottom side is kind of where the magic happens. So you have your dual mop pads. It kind of scrubs the floor rather than just kind of dragging a mop pad. Uh, and then it also has this, which is this arm that extends out called True Edge Technology. So what this does, it knows if there's a corner that it can't reach and it'll actually use this to go ahead and reach to that, which is kind of cool as it has an automated function. You do have your dual suspension and then it has a very unique uh, single spindle. Uh, so this here will actually make sure that no hair gets tangled and that's because of the way it's designed. You go ahead and remove the cap here, you can actually see the little brush here. So this will go ahead and kind of cut up that hair and making sure that uh, no hair essentially gets caught or gets stuck in this particular machine. Uh, you do have your brush here that'll rotate and kind of help guide the dirt into the spindle. And then of course you have your front wheel and then you have your sensors. So this here is a comparison of the base station. Now, obviously in terms of size comparison, this here is a little bit more sleek, a little bit more smaller and a little bit more portable in that sense versus obviously the particular N30 is a significantly bigger. But again, you do have those housing of the waters on the top there, which kind of makes it down size when you take it off. Between the two, you know, you have uh, one that just kind of collects the dust and then you have one that will collect dust, yes, but will also 
clean your mop pads, heat your mop pads, and then also go ahead and flush it out with clean water and dirty water and kind of expel it that way. You know, if you're looking for something that's small, might be the better option, but again, kind of up to you. But if you're looking for something that does everything, probably the better deal. All right, so looking at both vacuums side by side, uh, they do share similar properties in terms of the way they look. So they're both circles, they both have push sensors. Uh, the LiDAR sensor on this is a little, makes it a little bit more taller than this. I don't see a LiDAR sensor on here. Uh, in terms of suction power goes, this one features a 10,000 PA. This one just is 100% more powerful, which doesn't really give us any kind of specific measurements. I like the metallic finish on this. Definitely gives it a little bit more rich feel. Just looking at the bottom side here, obviously the Roomba has a lot bigger aerial force cleaning system is what they call it here. So it has this double one that will actually kind of suck up the dirt like that versus this here just has that one specific spindle which is a little less than the size of this one maybe about mm, uh, like an inch or two um, and then obviously you know you do both have the same brushes going on here uh, you do have your rotating wheel uh, and the only thing that would be a big difference to me is the dual mop pads here with an extending arm versus the mop pad which is on the top side that comes out almost like a spoiler which we'll be looking at Definitely seems like the D-Bot is kind of where I'm leaning towards, but let's go ahead and set these things up next and try them out. All right, guys, check it out. So we have both the robot vacuums here. We have our Ecovacs and then we have our Roomba, uh, both of which are great robot vacuums on paper. Now, I just went ahead and did a quick little mapping of uh, this particular room over here. And to my surprise, that's right, to my surprise, the Roomba took over 10 minutes to map this particular area. And on top of that, it was actually mapping very aggressively to the point where it was ramming this particular robot vacuum at one point and started moving some of our furniture versus the particular N30. I have to say literally did it less than one minute. It was able to scan this. So really, really outstanding off the back and one point to this robot here. All right, so we're all set here. Uh, let's go ahead and set this thing up. I'm gonna go ahead and do a vacuum and mop everywhere with our Roomba first. Time is 2.04. Let's see how long this takes to clean this room. All right, we're gonna do a quick little test and see how it handles picking up some cereal. Not bad. Notice that it does leave some streaks with the mop pad there. All right, so this part here, we're gonna see how it handles picking up some milk. I bet you it's just gonna probably drag it, I feel like. Oh, oh! Yeah, it's not that well. Actually, you can see it kind of going about there. So see, the wood, the wood is actually, there's some milk left in there, but I mean, all in all, it didn't do a relatively bad job, uh, aside the fact that it did leave some streaks, which you can see going throughout. Now, if I click on map here, I wanna see if it shows us a real time. Actually, no, it doesn't look like it gives us real time location. That's. That's a bit of a bummer. So it doesn't show us any real-time location of where the vacuum is, uh, but it just shows it on the top here, like it's just cleaning, which I guess is a bit of a downside. Uh, I wish it would actually show exactly where it's at. In corners, it does have some trouble reaching just because one, it doesn't have any kind of way of extending itself in terms of the mopping goes. Now, do note that it does appear to be just dragging the same mop pad throughout, it's not necessarily cleaning it, it's just adding more water to it. So whatever it does pick up in terms of staining goes, you are technically spreading it. Okay, we're gonna do a quick little carpet test with our Roomba and see how it does with actually going over carpet. See how the mop pad is still there? Oh, okay, so it just completely ignored it, okay. So it knows it's on carpet. and it will still clean the mop, it will still clean it with the mop pad on there. Oh, there you go. That's the opposite of what it's supposed to be doing, okay. All right, 
so this is returning home, job complete. It took approximately 18 minutes to clean this room. Uh, now in terms of the way it did it, it actually did a relatively good job picking up all the different cereal bits. And then in terms of the milk, uh, the only issue I noticed was that it did leave some uh, stains between the wood. And again, with it dragging a mop pad, it's technically literally just dragging that milk all around. And then uh, with the water being said, the water actually doesn't do anything other than essentially uh, use the new water and just kind of spills it around. So it doesn't have any wastewater to collect. And then the mop pad, which is this guy right here, is actually still wet. So this is not going to dry, uh, which would essentially create more of an issue with bacteria. So you would actually have to clean that yourself manually. Let's try out the Ecovax next and see what this N30 Omni can do. All right, here we go. So we just went ahead and started it. And uh, can you just see how this plays out? So you can already see the mop pad extending out there, trying to get the corners as it's cleaning. That is the true edge technology in the works. See how it handles some cables there. So generally, these robot vacuums will do the perimeters first before it starts doing the insides. You can see how it's getting the corners there. That's actually really good. So the other vacuum is not able to do that. Uh, it doesn't have an actual arm that extends. It just has that mop pad that kind of drags about. This here is actually scrubbing the floor, so it's actually spinning um, at a high rate and pushing down at the same time. And you can see how the milk has dried from before from the other vacuum at the point where it took it. Uh, and you can see the streaks that it left. So that is one of the issues with that vacuum that I just noticed off the back. All right, one thing to note is that this particular robot vacuum will give you live feedback. Uh, so you can see exactly where it is in real time. So it actually show you as it's cleaning. Uh, you can see the line where it's been, etc., and how it's kind of following along over here. Now, it also shows how long it's been going on for and how many square feet it's been cleaning. Uh, so all in all, pretty good. And I can actually go ahead and change things on the fly. I can make it quieter. I can make it louder um, in terms of the speed goes. I can uh, do a quick cleaning. I can do uh, max suction or less water, etc. So it's kind of nice that it does give you that option and that capability to go ahead and adjust as you're using it not requiring you to go back to the base station. Now, I went ahead and set up this little obstacle over here to see how well it does cleaning cereal as well as some drop milk. Um, and uh, hopefully it doesn't spread it like the other robot vacuum. Now, do note that it does leave a little bit of a trail over there. You can see that with the gap between where the particular pad is. Uh, but when it goes back over it again, it makes sure that it goes ahead and hits that. So you don't have to worry about it not getting any square inch. All right, so right now what it's doing is it's cleaning the mop pads. So it knows that after cleaning a certain amount of distance, it'll go back to the base station and clean the mop pads so it doesn't keep using the dirty water and kind of spreading it throughout. Uh, you can see how well of a job it's done so far. Uh, it actually picked up all the debris and cleaned up all the milk uh, in which that dirty milk water will be going into this particular unit over here in the back. So all the dirty water is being funneled into the back container and the clean water is being replenished into this unit uh, and also cleaning the mop pads at the same time so you don't have to worry about dirty water being spread throughout your room. All right, so we're back after cleaning the mop pads. Uh, so it's continuing its work so far. It's been 10 minutes uh, and you can see how much actively it's been cleaning. Uh, so it went back and forth a few times already. Uh, picked up all that extra stuff going on over there with the cereal and the milk. And overall, it's doing a pretty good job. Uh, you can see how it's continuing cleaning uh, each corner. And yeah, it just makes sure that it's scrubbing, which is really nice. All right, quick little test and carpet 
to show you guys how it lifts up the mop pads once it hits carpet. There you go, you see how it picked up the uh, mop pad? Uh, so it extends it up so it doesn't touch it and then I'll bring it back down once it's done. How cool is that? Looks like we are complete. All right, so that's that. And closing up at 22 minutes. Now, uh, right that said, uh, in terms of connectivity goes, so I was able to go and connect both robots. Now, this one here was actually quite easy. In fact, it was a little bit too easy to set up versus the Roomba required me to dig through my box that I came with to find a particular QR code, which it then had trouble connecting to the internet. Uh, when it comes down to breaking them down in side by side, obviously the Roomba is a little bit more expensive than the N30. And to me, that actually doesn't make much sense. Now off the back, this one here definitely offers a lot more. In fact, it did a really good job. It has this true edge technology, which actually extends this robotic arm to go up and essentially clean the corners. And then has a mop that actually rotates, which is pretty interesting to see as it kind of go and scrubs the floor as it does. This particular Roomba here just literally drags the same piece of cloth around, which to me was almost annoying to see. Now, I would have to say they both did a relatively good job. Now, the Roomba was a little bit shorter time versus the particular N30, but you have to understand that when you are putting it out there, you are scrubbing the floor and getting every little corner versus the Roomba is not telling you exactly what it's doing. So the app interface on the N30 was overall a lot better. So between the two, hands down, the N30 is a great deal. In fact, it's a lot cheaper than the Roomba, which I'm actually quite shocked how much they charge. Now, again, you are paying for something that you would want to clean as well as vacuum at the same time. This is a great way to go. And based on what you're looking for, I mean, I'm hands down going with the N30. This is how it looks after I map. Now over here shows you what we can see that the robot was able to scan in less than a minute. Um, and we can actually go ahead and label, we can create no go zones, uh, we can draw, we can adjust things, which is always great. Uh, you go down here, you have your cleaning modes, and then you have your advanced settings where you can go and create a cleaning schedule, uh, cleaning scenarios. So you can say if then kind of situations, which is really cool, that's something new. And then you have your sequence, so you can go ahead and pick and choose which way you want it to clean. Auto resume, do not disturb. Suction boost on carpet, yes, that's right. It can go ahead and suction boost on carpet, uh, which it will actually go ahead and lift up those particular mop pads so you don't get any water on your particular carpet. And then it has a bypass carpet, which you can go ahead and just completely avoid the carpet all means. And then it has no lifting, which you just want to go ahead and use it entirely throughout. It does have the adaptive true edge technology where the mop pad will go ahead and swing out, which we've seen before. Uh, which is really nice to get the nice corners as well as child lock, etc. Roomba's app seems to be more suitable for the iPad, so it's kind of nice to see too. Uh, I like how it does take over the whole entire screen so I see everything rather than just kind of shrinking it down into a phone size app. We have cleaning schedule, mapping here on the top right. So if I click this here, this will show me my map that it's scanned. Can't really create any barriers from what I'm seeing. And I can create a preference in terms of cleaning modes. Now with that said, if you guys have any questions in comparison between the two, uh, let me know. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video. Take care guys, bye-bye.